I don't know how you get away and completely clear your head from day to day. For me, it's uh, set myself to an environment, an environment, to a saltwater environment, and um, pursuing what I love and uh, really getting away. And that's how, we, that's how I really fill my cup, get rejuvenated. Uh, this is a story, and these are a few clips from a little town we go southwest of here, um, Louisiana, a town by the name of Leeville. There's really nothing there but shrimp boats. <laughs> by you on either side of the road that's leading to oil fields. Uh, well, what an absolute sportsman's paradise. Some clips here coming to a uh, it's a backcountry marsh. Uh, we're fishing out of a 16-foot Carolina skiff with a popping core, a lead head, and a bull minnow. Uh, and we've done this for the past, gosh, been lucky enough to do this for the past 15 years or so, I'd say. And with this simple method of fishing, we sure have been able to produce lots of fish. You always want, I guess more sometimes, want to be able to get a little skinnier. I want to be able to get quieter and maybe sneak up on a few more of the fish. And, uh, that's, I tell you what, the 16 Carolina Skip has got some fish. We've had a great time. And, man, this time we bought some paddle boards and they're in the way getting out. But man, did they produce. The fish doesn't know you're there, slide in, throw a bait, and they have no idea that they're in danger. Fishing back in the back country of Louisiana is just on fire. And although it was kind of a pain carrying a an egg crate full of all your gear and uh, rods and tackle and whatever, we still managed to get some footage to be able to take back and tell this little story. Man, the redfish were absolutely hot this time of year and uh, we did our job. But we needed to go back to Pensacola. Our days were up. Uh, fishing here in this little town was absolutely heaven. But um, looking forward to coming back and maybe this time being able to do it out of the board that uh, can paddle right from shore uh, and not use a boat to get out. What I found was that boat carried this, this uh, board called an Ahab, uh, which is a 14 footer had everything you need. Put a Yeti cooler on it, saw it with a Yeti, Yeti plug. Put a Yeti on it, we had lunch for the day. Uh, it's a 14 foot bracing paddle board with all types of uh, extra stuff in your gear. Um, it's really made it super easy to paddle, get around, uh, carry, all your, carry everything you needed, and really got some spots that were just hot. In this spot right here, I just hooked them in, a, threw it way back in the corner where we didn't know I was there, and on instantly. I tied off to my paddle this time. That's the toughest thing, in, you know, fishing on out of these paddle boards and kayaks is that it's not a game where you're bringing the fish to you. You almost go to them. But here we're lucky. We can see that mud is so soft. You stick it right in the mud, tie yourself off to, to it. You've got an anchor. Man, this method of fishing really worked as well and had an absolute blast doing it. This, all this footage was put together uh, to bring back and tell the story and thank boat paddle boards for putting in some incredible places. Uh, Pelican Box for making sure that you have a good camera always ready and stay dry. Uh, old Peter down at Eagles Nest for hooking me up with it all. Just want to say thank you guys. Help keep your stoke up. And, uh, forward to hopefully fishing with everyone here soon. Thanks again.